<laughs> All right, so the best AR is finally back in the event shop. Uh, no, I'm not talking about the Nocturno. I'm talking about this bad boy right here, the Bundle Bus. It's so good that I've already supercharged um, three copies. And I might even supercharge a fourth one. Um, because this is arguably the best weapon in the game to give to your defenders. Like, not only does it shred smashers in the 160s, like you saw in that intro clip, um, but it also protects against flingers. So we all know how useless anti-air traps are against flingers, um, but if you stick your bundle bus defenders on top of your base, uh, they will aimbot the flying husks right out of the air. So some people might argue that the obliterator um, is better for defenders, but I don't think so. I mean, I do like the obliterator sometimes when I'm being lazy with base design, like running the 160s or something. Um, I even supercharged a couple copies, like here for fire and here for a nature. Um, but it's just not as good as the bundle bus. Um, for things like Frost Knight and uh, Survive the Horde, you know, where your base design really matters. So my main issue with the Obliterator is, um, you say you have a base like this, right? Um, and this is my build from my latest Survive the Horde video, where I solo the three bases. Um, so say you have right a bunch of ceiling electrics out here and wall darts to clear out all the trash husks, and then the smashers get funneled down these tunnels because they're trying to get to your um, amp right here, right? Well, if you give your defenders obliterators, then, um, you know, the obliterators can shoot through walls. So what happens is your defenders end up shooting at all the husks that are out here that would die to your traps anyways, right? So they end up just wasting their time shooting at this stuff while the smashers come down the tunnels and sometimes they're so focused on the crap out there that they don't even shoot the smasher. Um, so instead, what you do is you sort of you know half box in your defender and give them a bundle bus. Uh, so you are limiting their line of sight to just the stuff that matters, right? So just straight down these tunnels. And also, you know, if anything comes down the tunnel, well, then your defenders are just going to smoke it because that's all they see, right? Since you've limited their line of sight and they don't they don't see all the trash stuff out here. Um, and, uh, you know, this sort of uh, concept came from um, Frost Knight, right? You know, the superheated and final frost modes um, where you have that inner ring uh, right around the burner, right? For the superheated bubble. Um, you know, you, you just want your defenders focused on anything coming into that inner ring, because that's what matters. You don't care about all the stuff that's outside of your base dying to all the traps. You just need to take out anything that breaks into that inner ring so it doesn't get to the burner. And that's why um, the bundle bus is um, so much better than the obliterator when it comes to these you know, end game modes like Final Frost and um, you know, Survive the Horde. Okay, so don't forget to buy this from the event shop, like I'm going to do now. Uh, because, you know, this is by far the best thing in here. Yeah. Um, yeah, all right. So if you guys uh, like this content and want to support the channel, please use code Diggy in the item shop. I would really appreciate that. And uh, thank you to everyone who has used it. Um, I will leave a link to my Discord in the um, description and pin it in the top comment. Um, Alright, so I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.